another harmonic exercise you can maybe try um, is doing legato. When people try harmonics, they, they usually push too hard to get the next harmonic up. If you can try and do it in a very relaxed way, the same way that you would maybe do sonority. Um, so we're going to do a similar thing using a D fingering. And just almost like you're improvising for yourself, making up a tune. But just doing it in a relaxed way to find the next interval. If you're pushing and it's not quite working, just back off, put the flute down, blow it all of your air out and go breathe in and go back to doing the exercise. Um, so this is just for your own benefit, just to find where everything is, find the chops without having to, as I said before, do a lot of gymnastics. We're just concentrating on airspeed alone. We're not trying to tense anything with the embouchure here. Just really experimenting um, with the dynamics and the sound. So. So you can hear it's not too bad, I could still have some room for improvement, but I'll, I'll try again in, a, in a, just a second. But that's the idea that you don't want to push too hard. If it's not working, don't go for the next interval, just concentrate on the sound that you're making. And then try again just a couple of seconds later, but just really, really relax. So I was thinking to myself not to get too tense, keeping the shoulders down, everything relaxed. And just in, enjoying the sound in a quite a quiet dynamic to begin with, just to really find where, where the sound is. and, and the, the actual airspeed, as I said before, the airspeed is the most important thing in this exercise. <laughs> 